What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Spongebob Squarepants movie game. Last episode, we got up to Shell City Deadhead, and we had to go back and get another Goofy Goober token so we can learn the throw ability, and then before we do Shell City Deadhead, we're going to go back and do some of the other uh, throwing fruit challenges that we may have missed. Patrick, you've collected Yes, thank you. I now know how to use my hands properly. Thanks. Now with improved targeting. Whatever that is. So next you press R, then you press R again to throw the object. Yay. Plankton's using those TVs to try and trick people to come to Bikini Bottom. If they go, they'll become slaves in his army. If only there was something I could do. You can. You have to destroy the TVs. Who knows how many people Plankton will enslave if we don't? He will. Never fear, Mindy. I will. I'm an expert at knocking stuff down. You're not. Anyway. Yes, we're going to go back to some previous... Throw fruit challenge stuff. Uh, this one I actually need to upgrade my... Slam for, I think... To stun enemies. Unless I need the guitar. I, this one might actually be a guitar thing. Let's see. Uh, what's the upgrade on this? Um, smash is... Right. So let's, let's try it. These enemies might just die, though. This might be... Oh, no. We can pick them up. All right. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. You wanna... You wanna shoot another one over here, big boy? I guess I need to be closer. Okay, that's one. I actually... Oh. Hmm. Ouch. Yeah, I think that's a guitar one. All right, so we'll come back to that. Uh, ring challenge. Try throwing the fruit. This is probably a throw fruit challenge based on what says throwing the fruit. I would imagine. <laughs> I'm so smart. Detective Rob is on the case. I'm actually dumber than bricks, but... You know. <laughs> Sick, dude. There we go. Whoa, this is like FPSing so hard. If you can tell, but like this is uh, the FPS in this area is not great. <laughs> Damn it! Fiddlesticks. Fuck. And it makes me start all over again. Golly. That's annoying. I can tell this is going to be very, very annoying. This is a thing. Very manly, Patrick. You are the manliest man to ever man a man. Damn it, again. God damn it. There we go. Should be able to do this now. 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm so mad that that just happened that I just killed myself on purpose. Oh my god, this is gonna be so dumb, dude. Like, why? I wonder if upgrading the throw fruit would actually help here. Like, making it so I can throw farther. Uh, I wonder if that would be of use. That, that was the end of it. Oh, that actually... Patrick, what? He's glitching into the ethereal plane! Okay. Um, that actually was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right, and so what? Is there like an arena over there? Like, what's all this other crap? How over. What is this? Oh, I think this is just how you do the level. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Um, we'll do this because for raisins. And there's actually two Goofy Goober tokens here. Hopefully, we'll be able to just snatch them both real quick and move on with our. Bad mamma jamma selves. Right, I need to be Patrice. Yeah, I don't exactly know how throwing ice into lava freezes the whole thing. But it does. All right, now there's just warp to swinging starfish. Hopefully, it'll just like put us right in front of the uh, the start. That'd be really nice. Kind of cheese the game a little bit here. Okay. That didn't work at all. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. But okay, let's let's do it, baby. Patrick, it's your time to shine, baby. Patrice. You gotta do this, man. For Nintendo. No, not for Nintendo. Alright. Nintendo, we're gonna do this. Wow, guys, that was... That was very difficult. I, uh... I almost, um... I don't know, developed Carpal Tunnel? I don't, I don't really know what the worst possible scenario out of that could possibly be. But anyway, back to Shell City. Shell City did a hit. Something about boobs and smashing boobs and TVs and boobs. I don't know. That's what the warp point said or something like that. Who knows? I could just look at the warp point, but... Boob tube smashing boob. I wonder why it got the name boob tube, like... I mean, I guess I've seen boobs on TV, but, like, I wouldn't say that's the primary reason for... Wow, he's dead. He's just been JFK'd. Oh, he's alive. Except he got shot in the front of the head, not the back. I thought he just, like ripped his arm off. That was crazy. The has 
Oh, I see what we have to do here. We have to throw across the way. I like how they, like the, the combat arenas completely fuck up the pacing of showing new enemies. Because we've already fought that enemy before. Like he was in the last combat arena. So like we already knew what he did before the game even showed us. Oh, I thought that was a platform. Right. That is most certainly not a platform. What does this do? I don't... Oh. Why would I... Okay. Ligma. That was completely unnecessary. That wasn't so tough. Bring him to. Yeah, oh god. You gotta run, Patrick. Why is he clapping now? Like he's happy that he got smashed in the head. It's a very weird reaction to getting hit in the head with a steel like safe or whatever this is supposed to be i don't know man people in this game are uh, wackadoodles what's this is like a slide or something the cirque du malaise it's an interesting name for it Are these like pepperonis? Like, what are these? <laughs> like, I don't. I don't even understand what these like little red things are supposed to be. Also, the camera is less than ideal right now. It's actually amazing though when you compare this game to like Revenge, like just how much better the camera is. And obviously they perfected that through, you know, BFBB, but... God, like, why was the camera a solid object in Revenge? I don't understand. Just turn collision off, please. Whoops, I killed him. Throw this guy at him. Imagine, like, getting hit with the body of, like, your comrade. That'd be fucked up, man. Okay, you can stop that now. Patrick really is a fucking murderer when you think about it. This is really obnoxious. I really wish I wasn't like forced to fight these guys. It slows down the gameplay, man. Yeah, I just gotta go back and repeat the same thing twice. Gameplay. Oh, very nice. How much of a man do I have to be? The manliest man, Patrick. I'm gonna pick this up because I assume I need this. Whoa, Patrick. You better, you better relax yourself there, son. Did you just call me an idiot? Nobody calls me an idiot. Oh, gosh. Well, good night, Patrick. 
go quietly into that good night. And I got to do this shit again, huh? Whoa. I'm gonna fucking scream. Oh, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> At least when you have the fruit, they don't let you like slide off the edge. That's that's nice of them, I guess. Nobody calls me an idiot except for me. Nice aim, guys. Do I have that upgraded? I do. I'm gonna kill you out of spite. I don't need to, but I'm going to. Out of spite! Oh my god, more of these dudes. Hey, I heard you like this enemy type, so I gave you this enemy type inside this enemy type. Thanks, exhibits. You know... Very unnecessary. There we go. You're dead, Burns. Again with the CB plankton. Oh yes, a spun ball arena. My favorite. I love random mini games that take me out of the flow of the level. What even is gameplay pacing? Nobody knows. At least I'm not timed, I guess. Whoa. SpongeBob looks like he's in pain, man. It's actually amazing watching speedrunners do this. Cause like they just have this like such down to a science that they just like blast through this shit. I could probably go faster, but why risk it? You know, why risk anything in life when you don't have to? Fuck me. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> All right, now we're going to speed run. Watch this, boys. Okay, well, we missed the cycle. We missed the unicycle. What a dumb invention, by the way. The unicycle. Oh, I have one wheel. Okay. Congrats. Nobody cares. Just ride a bicycle. It's way more uh, time efficient. And you look like a less of adult. Freaking unicycles, man. Alright, you mother smurfer. Oh my god, it did it again. Oh, alright. This is annoying now. I'm gonna cut to... If this isn't it, I'm gonna cut to the winning run because I'm not gonna make you sit through this while I struggle to beat a challenge that is designed for literal children. Because A, that would hurt my pride, and B, you would also waste a lot of your time. So, yeah. I'm gonna cut to the winning run. Movie magic. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> here, there's fucking bullshit here, and there's fucking nonsense. Oh my god, SpongeBob, relax. This fucking bullshit.
bullshit nonsense. Okay. So red, yellow, blue. So red, yellow, and we just skip it because we're the fucking best. Okay. So red, yellow, blue. So red, yellow, blue. And here we go. Oh wow, that was the winning run, so I didn't really have to cut at all. You guys just heard me bitch and moan and complain for no reason. Because I'm fucking awesome like that. I'm not. I actually suck at everything I've ever done. And nobody will ever watch. And nobody will ever hear my paid. I don't know why I just like... I sound like I had a cold there. Doing that voice maybe sound like I was really like congested. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys again next time.